So now they're going to ask me to graph all asymptotes, which means it could be vertical, it could be horizontal, or it could be um, what we call oblique or a slanted asymptote. Okay. Now, I've already gone over the different things for vertical asymptote. You set the denominator equal to zero and you solve it, right? And for the horizontal asymptotes, I already talked about if the degree is equal on the numerator and denominator, then it's um, at y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator, or that's case one, or of case two where the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator then it's automatically at y equals zero what we haven't talked about is the oblique asymptote or slant asymptote oblique this word okay that happens when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator by exactly one can't spell exactly apparently okay if for some reason you have the case where the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator by more than one then you have no horizontal asymptote or oblique asymptote okay so that could also happen but if it does, where it's bigger than more than one, then you don't have either a horizontal asymptote or, or a slant asymptote. You can never have both of these at the same time. You can have this and these. You can have this and this. You can't have these two together because they all depend on the degree of the numerator and denominator. And so you're only going to have one relationship. Either they're the same degree, the top is bigger, or the top is smaller. Those are the only three relationships you could possibly have. Two numbers cannot have any more than one of those relationships, okay? So you cannot have horizontals and obliques in the same graph. This doesn't make sense, okay? So let's go ahead and work on this one. So for the vertical asymptotes, I'm going to take my denominator and I'm going to equal it to zero. I get x equals negative two. So on my graph, Here's negative two, I'm gonna draw my vertical asymptote. Okay, now, for the next part, um, the horizontal or oblique. So for the horizontal or oblique, I'm going to um, take the degree of the numerator, which happens to be the higher exponent is two, and then the degree of the denominator, which happens to be a power of one, an invisible power of one. I do have the degree is bigger by exactly one, right? This is one, this is two, that's bigger by just one number, okay? Because of that, that means I'm gonna have an oblique asymptote. But how do I find the oblique asymptote? You're going to have to perform long division. So to find the oblique asymptote, you're going to do x plus two into x squared plus x minus nine. So how do I do this? You take the first two terms, okay? So this term and this term. So x squared on the inside divided by x on the outside. What do I get? I get x, and that goes up top. Anything that's up top gets multiplied by this stuff, and then the answers go below. So I have two terms to multiply. So I get x squared, and then positive 2x. And normally when you're doing division, you subtract this stuff from the number. So this will turn into negative, and this will turn into negative. And so I have x squared minus x squared, which cancels, positive x minus 2x, which is negative x, and bring down the next number. Then I'm gonna do the same thing again. So I'm gonna take what's in the front here by what's in the front there, off to the side, the inside divided by the outside, and I get negative one. 
So that response goes up here. And just like the x, this guy is going to get multiplied to both of those. This becomes negative x and negative 2. But I have to subtract this, which means this will turn positive. This will turn positive. Negative x plus x will cancel. Negative 9 plus 2 will be negative 7. Now, when you're finding the oblique and, uh, asymptote, you have to ignore the remainder. You just completely ignore it. That's not part of the answer. The oblique asymptote will be at y equals your quotient. And in this case, my quotient is x minus 1. Okay? So that's where the oblique asymptote will be located. How do I graph that? Remember, your y-intercept is going to be negative 1, and your slope is going to be 1, which can be written as a fraction, 1 over 1, so up 1 and over 1. So y-intercept is here, and then I'm going to go up 1 and over 1, so there. So I'm going to select the dotted line that is slanted, and then when I get it, I'm going to make sure I click here at the y-intercept, the y and then that I'm doing this mode. Oh, I went too far down. Y-intercept is negative 1, so it should have been here. And then once you click it, you're going to go up 1 and over 1 and click again there. When you do that in Alex, it automatically draws it for you. Okay, so it'll automatically draw the rest of the slanted line like that. Okay. And then you'll have both of your asymptotes in there. Am I going to have a horizontal asymptote as well? No, right? can only have a slanted one or a horizontal one, but never both.